So I have no idea how I'm going to do this video, but PUBG is on mobile now. Well, actually, it's been on mobile for a while, but I finally got my got it on my phone, and apparently my uh, status on the very uh, top right is pretty weak. But it's nice that it has a battery indicator. That way, so you know how much battery I'm using. I'm on the North American server, which means uh, reason being because this game is currently also up in Canada. Apparently, from what I read, from what I read. With that said, I really don't like these type of battle royale games. But if I was gonna play a battle royale, it'll be on my phone. And I'm personally waiting for Fortnite to come to Android because it's a lot more, for me, it's fun. It's crazy and everything else. PUBG is just too serious. But the one thing I will say is the mobile version of PUBG actually runs fairly well. Now since I'm doing, now since I'm recording this with, my, with the, uh, with the uh, onboard mics on my phone, the audio will get muffled every now and then. So be so be prepared for that. And for those that are wondering what exactly I'm running, it's an LG G5. And of course, if you look at the uh, look to the right where it says PUBG Mobile, it even tell it even gives me my M my uh, ping and also a small battery life indicator. Which personally, I would actually like to have just where between the join and the PUBG logo or the PUBG Mobile logo is actually have it in be is actually have a battery right in between there instead. Well, actually, well, actually, no. I can understand why they didn't put it there. I'll actually probably put it between the uh, report button and the uh, and the end of the compass. It kind of looks like an Xbox port, but plays better than, than the Xbox port. I don't know the frame rate I'm getting, but I have the recorder set for 60 FPS. Okay, so where exactly do I want to land? I guess I'll hold head for this. I'm heading for the exact same house I went for in the, when I first played originally. I wouldn't be surprised if I die first time. Well, actually, it's the second time I played. So the first time I played, like 20th, I think. Mostly, that was just me riding people over, which is very, which is very cheap, but it was the only way I could win. Actually, no, not true. I just it was very cheap. And plus, if I was ever gonna play PUBG, it was be or any yeah. If I was gonna play PUBG or PUBG, which I'm really should just call because I really don't like the game. 
If I'm ever going to play this game like I am right now, I'll be on my phone. Mainly due to the fact that it actually is significantly better, it plays significantly better than the, than the PC version and the Xbox version. It's very, it's, it still shudders and stutters, but it's still a lot more optimized. And it also does automatic pickup, so that's pretty cool too. But if I can play this game with a, a controller, like a little Bluetooth controller, I'm absolutely going to do that. Because playing with a touchscreen really sucks. I mean, it is doable, but it plays like, well, it's just a little difficult. Even on, even with the display that this thing has, which is a fairly big display. Apparently I randomly hit the sh fire button by accident. Ooh, a crossbow. Eh. If I want to die real quick, that's one way to do it. Oh, hello buddy. Can I drive this? Yeah, just like I thought. That kill felt really cheap. Ugh. That kill felt really, really cheap because it just didn't feel like a like I really deserved that kill because I just sat there and just zoomed in on the poor person and just fired randomly. I'm hoping if a controller, if this game actually allows a controller to be used, it'll be a lot more uh, precise. Because if I get a kill in this game, I want it to feel like I actually legitimately won the kill. And it wasn't just because I somehow managed to just do better or whatnot. I'm going to do the same tactic I did originally, which was just drive around and run people over. Okay, now I'm starting to see my phone chug a little, and I think that's due to the due to me recording the gameplay and playing at the exact same time. This phone really cannot handle it. Well, I thought I saw someone. Now, do I expect this video to get views? Heck no! Do I, bet, do I expect anyone to see this video? Heck no! I'm just wanting to record it because I want to record it. And what I'll do is at the very end I'll show you how to do this, how to actually get the game. On Android at least. I do have an iPod Touch, but it's a 5th generation. And I don't think this game will actually function on a 5th generation iPod Touch. Okay, I heard gunshots. I just don't know where they are, where they came from. If I had, head, if I had, if I had headphones plugged in, I'd be able to tell. But oh, there you are. 
Oh, the frame drops are strong with this game. Okay, how did that not hit him? There we go! <laughs> That's the one thing I hate about this game when it comes to the running of people over. It's always a 50-50 shot because I know I can actually hit someone at that speed and kill them instantly. The uh, hit detection needs to be fixed. But if I'm not if I wasn't recording, it would actually run a lot more smoother on my end. But uh you just gotta take my word for it unfortunately. But if you have a good smartphone like the one I have here, you should be just fine when you're not recording. Because generally speaking, the frame rate's fairly stable. Ah, that was a miss. He's dead. I'm here, you. There we go. I feel like such a cheap ass by doing this. I miss. Oh, he moved. Nope. You should have stayed where you were. You would have get squished. <laughs> I feel like such a cheap ass. And I know the uh, legitimate PUBG players are going to be pissed at me. And the thing is, I don't give a shit what they think. I legitimately don't really care for this game. I'm just recording just to show what the gameplay is like. Mainly because... I don't want to not be IGN or GameSpot. I want to be that one person that just randomly plays the game and just uploads a badly made video from a cell phone. Don't flip your turd stain. Okay, so ooh, wow, it's still. Right. What work? The Microsoft shit. Yeah, I just gotta wait for a stupid game to come out. And the game I'm talking about is Sea of Thieves, which I actually don't think is stupid, which I actually plan on, which I do plan on buying, actually playing. I got the uh, Game Pass stuff, so I'm gonna use that to stress test the game before I make my final decision if I want it or not. I know I want it, but I wanna make sure that it runs functionally. Because when I was playing it originally on my computer, it was really choppy. I mean, right here it's choppy, but in comparison to what I was experiencing in Sea of Thieves, this is nothing. This is playable choppiness. Sea of Thieves was one frame every 10 seconds. And that's with my GeForce GTX 950. So I don't got no cheapy uh, computer system. I have a fairly capable computer on with me. Now do I want to take advantage of this drop or do I... No, I'm not going to take advantage of the drop. I'm just going to drive around and see if I find someone to run them over. Gotcha! The one thing I do give this game credit is, is the render distance for other play for other players. It's legitimately good. I can easily lo I can easily lock on to someone. If this was GTA 5, it would have been impossible at that distance for me. Also, the audio is low. I'm sorry. I don't know how high to set the uh, recording volume. Man, my phone's getting warm to the touch. I'm amazed I haven't died yet. This is about... The, the six kills is what I initially got to. I just ended up just driving around, running people over. 
I think that's due to the fact that touch controls for this game like this, everyone just has to be so significantly slower. So some poor little noob, noob ass like me can just be in a car and run them over and get a cheap kill. And plus I've seen enough of enough videos on this game to generally know the general uh, theme of it, what the little red circle means and stuff like that. But my question is how oh no not my question. I'm just going to wait for Fortnite to come to Android, and then PUBG will officially be dead. Don't get me wrong, it's an amazing feat that they even managed to get this game to function on a cell phone. That is a massive feat of technology. But Fortnite, once it comes out for Android, uh, PUBG, you're dead. At least in the US market. I'm pretty sure PUBG is going to keep going strong in the Asian markets like in China. Actually the main reason why I'm going to play Fortnite on mobile, I mean not Fortnite, PUBG on mobile is because A it's free and second little to no cheaters on the mobile version of this game. That's the main reason why I hate PUBG in the first place is all the fucking cheaters. And no I haven't played PUBG before but I'm um, I've seen all the complaints, I've seen all the videos, I've seen player unknowns himself being such a dick when it comes to a cheat when it comes to China and the cheater problem. So yeah, I'm just going to play the free to play variant and not give them any of my money. Okay, so I'm still well within the uh, box. There we go. I don't expect me to ever gain the first place. Oh, I so want to run him over and shoot him, but I don't got a snipper. Yeah, I couldn't do it even if I tried. I know the distances that these guns can do, and that... Well, I mean, if I had a controller... Where I can have a more finite control than I do with my touchscreen, I could easily do it, but still. Gotcha! Ooh, that guy took a heap ton of my health. Poor bastard, you're actually doing good too. You just get killed by some asshole in a car. <laughs> I feel a little sad for him, but a kill's a kill. There we go. Who's my next victim? Of Sergeant Squishy Car. Oh, there's a bridge. Do I risk it? Yeah, I think I should. Move marker. Oops, I'm drowned. Some commit suicide. Suicide is never the answer.
I accidentally canceled the recording, so I'm gonna go in here and edit the video together. God dang it. Uh, no idea what that means. Oh, player zoned. Invisible wall is invisible. Man, that was APP logic right there. Ugh. But unlike APP Reloaded, I don't have to worry about fucking cheaters. I just have to worry about a legitimately good player. Oh shit. First time I played, I got 20th. No, no, back up! Ah, miss. Gotcha! Ah, missed! There we go! Why are you people not shooting me? No, no, no! 10 kills, that's good for me. Well, I mean, I'm a cheap ass, so they're not really 10 kills. They're just 10 cheap ass kills. Actually, no, 9, sorry about that. I kind of go dyslexic every now and then. What happened to my car? Why does it run anymore? Does it run out of gas randomly? I'm guessing it ran out of gas. Oh boy.
I hear the gunfire, I just don't know where it's coming from. Four times scope, which is nice. This is the longest I've ever gone in this game. Very impressed with myself, and this is my only second time. Especially considering I just don't give a crap about this game, and I've never played Pub P before. I'm very impressed with how long I've lasted. But of course, now I've just gone and cursed myself, and I'm going to die pretty soon. Oh, I see someone. Yeah, he notices me. Oh, someone behind me. Oh, there you are. How did I headshot the poor bastard? Oh, this is, oh, this is bad. This is very bad. I should have stayed there in the beginning. This is going to be stupid, and I know I'm going to die, but... Oh, glad they take third.
So let's see, what do I gotta do next? Uh, show how I got this. Uh, right in here, I'm going to show how to get PubP and everything else. So the first thing you need is an app called QOO. And of course, you just go to whatever, defa whatever your def default browser is. Hopefully, it's Chrome. But And then what you do is you type in QOO and then app. But you don't have to type in app. Most well, you should type in app. I don't know. I mean, I've already downloaded it before, so I don't need to do anything else. But type in QOO app, and then you should get greeted by this right here. Hit the download QO app link. Scroll down to the bottom. Hit it. Or hit the little uh, download the app, download APK. Let it download. Hit open. Now, of course, this is why I'm going to stop here for a second. Is this is for if you don't have it to where you can sign in uh, on on a. Uh, non app store apps so what you need to go is you need to go to settings uh, sec uh security and then you gotta go to unknown unknown sources and check that uh, and check that to be on and of course now i gotta re-download it again because chrome is being stupid and doesn't say the last page for some dumb reason Then let it install it. Hit open. And of course hit allow. Alright, and as of this recording, you just need to scroll down to what's hot. And then you just go a little bit over and you see the actual icon right there. You hit that and then you hit download and then you're good to go so now I'm going in this portion here and come and come back with a with the last little bit of crap I want to say I can just all right so once you are done installing everything you open up the app this is what you'll be be presented with I'm very happy with that third place win. That's actually legitimately the farthest I've ever gotten. I'm just waiting for that moment for me to get killed by some asshole in a vehicle. And then of course you go to here and then you just have the option to log in as a guest or use your Facebook account. I personally suggest using your Facebook account because you get to actually save your character and everything else. If you just sign in as guests, everything you'll lose everything you win if you somehow win. Because you gotta go and remake your account, make go and remake your character and everything else. But with that, I think that's pretty much it for this video.